The current million dollar question that everyone is asking in regards to Google Ads is should I be using shopping campaigns or performance max campaigns? Now I need to stress that when I talk about shopping campaigns, I do mean standard shopping campaigns because as you may well be aware that from July this year, smart shopping campaigns will be automatically upgraded into performance max campaigns. And if you've only ever used smart shopping campaigns, it's very likely that your smart shopping campaign is already a performance max campaign. So to help you decide whether shopping campaigns or performance max campaigns are better for you, in this video, I'm gonna be discussing the differences between these two type of campaigns, who should be using each type of campaign, and whether you should ever use shopping campaigns in the same account as Performance Max campaigns. And just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I've been creating profitable Google Ads campaigns since 2010. So if you wanna keep up to date with the strategies that are working in Google Ads right now, why don't you go through and give me a quick subscribe. Thank you. Now, before I get into these discussion points, I do wanna make a point that if you've already got a profitable shopping campaign, then I recommend that you just stick with that profitable shopping campaign and don't switch over to Performance Max. However, if that is the case, you will still find this video very useful because it'll explain the differences between shopping and Performance Max and when it might be the right time to add in some Performance Max campaigns to your Google Ads account. So let's now start with the differences between a shopping campaign and a Performance Max campaign. Shopping campaigns will only show your ads in the Google Shopping feed, whereas with Performance Max, your ads will not only appear in the shopping feed because your ads will also appear in search, also on the Google Display Network, in Gmail, and also on YouTube. But I wanna make it very, very clear, although you might think that that is the biggest change, that is actually not the biggest difference between shopping and Performance Max. Because the biggest difference between these two campaigns is all about the targeting options and the optimization actions that you have with shopping and Performance Max. Because when you go through the process of setting up a Performance Max campaign, once you've added in your ad copies, so your headlines, your descriptions, the images you wanna use, and also any YouTube videos that you wanna use in your campaign, you then come to the part where you can add in and create your very own audience signal. And this is the part where you add in any keywords that you wanna target, any of your data segments, like your remarketing lists, or your similar lists, or your product abandoners, and then you can also go through and add in some different affinity and interest target groups. And all of this gives the illusion that you are the only one who is controlling where your ads will appear and who they will appear to. However, that could not be further from the truth with Performance Max campaigns. Because you see, once you've added in all of those audience signals, you do see this little pop-up and it's green and it looks all happy where it should actually be a warning where it says that Google will go beyond the selections that you have added in order to find some different conversion actions. And for me, this is the biggest difference between Performance Max and shopping campaigns. Because with shopping campaigns, if you have a highly specific target market, so you know the best performing demographics, audience groupings and devices, you can actually target your shopping campaign so that they only appear to those audiences and those demographics. And then further to that, you can actually go through the search history and actually go through and add in any negative keywords to stop your shopping ads appearing on irrelevant searches. So for example, if you're marketing men's hoodies and you see that your ads appear for search terms like men's hoodies Amazon or men's hoodies Nike or cheap men's hoodies, you can actually go through and add in some extra negative keywords to stop your ads appearing for those type of searches. And those are the type of optimizations which are just not possible with a Performance Max campaign. Even if you add in some different audience signals, Google will go beyond those selections to try and find some different audience groupings, even if you know that they are not gonna be successful. Whereas with shopping, if you've got a highly defined market, you can target that market and Google will not go outside of those boundaries. So please don't think that the only difference between shopping campaigns and performance max campaigns is that performance max campaigns allows you to set shopping campaigns to also go to the search, display, Gmail and YouTube networks because there are far more significant and differences between the two campaigns when it comes to your optimizations and your targeting options. With Performance Max very much being a smart campaign where you only have a limited amount of optimizations 
and Google does most of the heavy lifting for the targeting. Whereas with shopping campaigns, you've got endless opportunities for targeting and also optimizations. So now that we've discussed the differences between Performance Max and shopping campaigns, we now need to discuss who should be using each type of these campaigns. And for me, if you're an e-commerce brand or an e-commerce store, and you have a limited amount of product categories, so somewhere between one to 10 different product categories. In that case, my recommendation is for you to use Performance Max. But remembering, as I said previously, if you've already got a successful standard shopping campaign, please stay with that one rather than quickly switching over to Performance Max. And the reason for this is that if you've got a limited amount of product categories, you can actually take the time to go through and set up different asset groups for each individual type of product category. And if you wanted to take it even further, you could actually go through and set up different asset groups for smaller groups of products. And within these smaller groups of products for the asset groups, you can set highly specific ad copy, highly specific images and videos, which are all gonna increase the performance of your account. And then after the data comes in, it's just a matter of pausing the asset groups where you're not seeing that highest level of conversions so that you can focus more budget on those product groupings which are generating the most revenue for your business. Whereas if you have a large inventory of products, so products in the thousands, I actually find a better option is to focus on shopping with a backup search campaign. And the reason for this is because with your shopping campaign, you can add in some different product groups and segmentation so that you can then go through and do some deeper dives into the exact performance of different audiences and demographics and also different keywords so that you can then go in and add in extra negative keywords or to increase the performance of your account. And then with the backup search campaign, you can actually use that in tandem with your shopping feed to focus on any high profit items that you specifically wanna focus on and actually tailor some different ad copy and also product images in the search ads if you wanna go down that path. And the core reasons for this difference is if you have a very, very large array of different products, they are likely to be best suited to different types of audiences and different types of demographics. And my research is showing that those different audience segments are actually confusing the Performance Max campaign so that it's not getting the best results. And this is why at the moment, if you've got that really large array of products, stick to your shopping campaigns and your search campaigns. But if you really, really do wanna use some Performance Max campaigns, my recommendation would be just to use Performance Max for one or two collections of different products that are similar. And then that brings us to our third point, which is should you ever use a shopping campaign and a Performance Max campaign in the same Google Ads account? Now this can actually be done. And in some cases, it is a great option to use both shopping and Performance Max campaigns in the same Google Ads account. But one thing that you need to make very, very sure of is that you're not marketing the same individual product in both your shopping campaign and your Performance Max campaign. And the reason for that is because if you go through and add in some different optimizations to your shopping campaign, they will be overridden by your Performance Max campaign because those optimizations won't carry over into the Performance Max campaign. Remember the example I gave before about men's hoodies and how if you wanted to add in some extra negative keywords for some search terms that you wanted to filter out. If you had filtered out those search terms like cheap and Amazon in the shopping campaign, those searches would still trigger your ads in the Performance Max campaign because those negative keywords that you added in the shopping campaign haven't gone over to your Performance Max campaign. So if you do want to try both Performance Max and shopping campaigns in the same Google Ads account, just make sure that you don't have any individual products being marketed in the same feed for your shopping campaign and your Performance Max campaign. But what a good strategy can actually be is that if you actually use your Performance Max campaign for your high performing products, and this allows you to target those high performing products with search ads, display ads, and YouTube ads, where you can actually add in some highly specific ad copy, including your headlines and descriptions, highly specific images, and also highly specific YouTube ads 
to really sell those high ticket item products. And then remembering that the Performance Max campaign will also double as a remarketing campaign, especially if you've added in your remarketing, similar and product abandoners lists. And if you have done that when you've set up your audience signal, Performance Max can actually be a great campaign in those situations. Just make sure that if you do use that strategy, when you've added some products into a Performance Max campaign, that you then go back to your shopping campaign and exclude those individual products. The other advantage of this strategy is that it means that your shopping campaign becomes like a catch-all campaign. So that if you do add any new products into your Shopify store or your WooCommerce store, once they go into your Google feed, they will automatically appear in your shopping campaign. And then after some initial testing, if they're getting good results in the shopping campaign, you can then bring them into your Performance Max campaign with a new campaign or a new asset group and then exclude them from the shopping campaign. So this is a great strategy so that you don't have to feel like you have to add in some extra asset groups every time you're setting up a new product or adding a new product to your store. And to date, I've seen this as the best strategy that is working for e-commerce stores when they're utilizing that shopping and Performance Max in the same account. So there you have it, that is my recommendations for shopping and Performance Max campaigns. And if you're really interested to learn some more advanced strategies on this topic and also other topics in regards to Google Ads and really work out how you can use Google Ads to grow your own business or to grow the business of any of your clients, I wanna invite you to my Google Ads 10X community. And this is a place where you can access advanced monthly teachings on different topics in Google Ads. And these are longer format teachings where I really take a deeper dive and show you how you can solve some deeper problems which you may face in Google and also how you can implement some advanced strategies that are working in Google right now. And then it also includes monthly live group coaching and question and answer calls, where you've got an opportunity to actually ask me direct questions about your own campaigns, and I'll be able to help you with some optimizations and the next steps that you need to take in your account. And then finally, it's also a great place to connect with other people who are like you, who are passionate about using Google Ads and learning how they can use it to grow businesses on Google. So if that is something you'd love to be a part of, why don't you go through and follow the link in the description below and pre-register today. And then finally, if you would like to know how to correctly set up your Performance Max campaigns, why don't you go through and watch this video right here, or if you'd like to know how to actually set up shopping campaigns the right way using product segmentation, why don't you go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks you for joining me. See you on our next video.